Hi guys and welcome to another Divi4 WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've been putting together this site with the awesome Divi theme from Elegant Themes in this series of videos. If you want to try the Divi theme out you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. And today we're going to make this sort of countdown timer with a call to action button. Really simple sort of made it to match this little slider that we made yesterday okay so let's get started I've got a page over here that hasn't got it on it I'm going to enable Divi's visual builder once the builder's loaded I'm going to go down to where we want to work and I'm going to add a new module blue tabs for a section green tab is for a row dark ones for the module, little dark round circle, add a new module. By default Divi comes with all these as standard plus another 16 if you've got WooCommerce installed. And also the Divi Builder can be used as a standalone module in any WordPress site. So let's go and get our countdown timer, there it is right there, just left click. That's it, we're done. <laughs> Very easy. And it's opened up And I can't remember what I said here. One month only. Title I'm going to put in. Set the date. Month from now, I guess, would be 21st of next month. That's fine. Change the time if you want to there. Just simply slide the slider back. If you want to make it 8.30 in the morning, 8.49. There's 8.30. If you want it to link to something, obviously click the link tab and put in your URL you want to link to. If we're selling some items, I might want to link to the, the item sale page or something. Put the URL in there. And if it's on the same site, you want it to open in the same window. If you're taking them elsewhere, you want it to open in a new tab so that your site stays open. Background, I'm just going to leave it exactly like it is with that blue because it kind of fits in with what I've got going on. But of course you can add a color, a gradient, an image, or a video if you want to. So I'm going to go to the design. Not going to change a whole lot. Title text, I think I'm just going to make that that orange color we've been using. There we go. And just give it a little bit of text shadow. We've been using on the buttons and things like that just to keep it in style. And I might do the same with the timer as well. What did I do on this one? Oh, okay. We we made the text white on this one. With that box shadow, that's fine. And we made the countdown text. Numbers text. There. And I'll give it that same little box shadow, just make it stand out. Now to keep it in trim with this one over here, I'm going to give it a little orange border there and a bit of box shadow so we can close up this tab let's go down to border if you want to make it rounded you just simply type in a value here if you've got this checked it'll do all four at once you can see that's made that rounded I don't so I'm going to just clear that and you can do all four at of the borders at once you can do the top on its own the right the bottom and the left I want them all at once so I'm going to pop this up to one I'm going to select the orange color and the only thing we need to do now is just add a little bit of box shadow underneath this one there we go now we want to add a little call to action button underneath we're saying something like we said over here 50 percent Yep, that's right. This month, get gear is 50% off. In fact, I'll copy that. Save me typing it out. Control C to copy. So let's add another module. We'll save what we've got here. We'll go in. We're going to add another module. Simply underneath the one that you've got there, you'll find the little button again. Simply left click on it. This time, I'm going to add a call to action. Now I don't want a title in there really, I just want a, a line of text. 
So I'm going to select what they've got in here, the default sort of blurb. I'm just going to paste in that text I copied just now. There we go. Fantastic, as easy as that. Now all I need to do is add a call to action button. And you see underneath the title text, we're still on the content tab here, you see underneath the title text we've got a, a button sort of place here. And I think I said get tech. You can put in whatever you want in your button there. But to make the button actually appear, you've got to add a link button link URL and you can link the module as well if you want to like I'm saying before if you want to take them to I'll just put a hashtag in there so the button will appear there we are if you want to take them to a sales page for your tech stuff or whatever it is same window just put the URL in there if you want the actual module to take them somewhere else or because the button will take them to the tech stuff if you want the module to take them somewhere else put a link in there kind of handy all right, so but the only thing I want to do here is style the button. So I'm going to go down. Everything else I'm going to leave there. I'm going to put the border and the box shadow on. So let's go down to button. Custom styles for button. Button text size. I'm going to leave that just like it is. Text color is fine as white. Button background. Here we go. I'm going to put in that orange color. Now if you want to give it a hover state, just hover over the background button text and click the little arrow with your left mouse. You've got a desktop state, you've got a hover state. You can have a completely different color if you want to. There we go, that's going to look pretty awful when we do it, but I'm just demonstrating to you what you can do. Put that on back to desktop. Let's go on down. I want to make the border color the same. And I guess because I've got a hover state, I better do the same with the border cover and make the border green as well, or else it's going to look really weird. Uh, I want to keep it on orange and on the hover. We want to be green. There we go. Now, when I hover over it, you're going to see that little icon there. For me, I don't particularly want that in there. You may. So I'm going to get rid of that. Just put that back to desktop so it goes orange again. If we keep on scrolling down actually before we do that font save a scrolling back up I want to make our button sort of rounded or pill shape like this button right here and to do that I just bring the border radius up you can do it with the slider I'm going to just type in 50 pixels there 50 it'll put the pixels in for you there we go so we've got that that button button font I'm not going to change at all now here's the show button icon that I was talking about before. I really don't want that, so I'm going to turn that off. If you do want it, Elegant Themes provide you with all these wonderful icons here that you can choose from, but I don't want that today. And button text shadow, we'll do the same as we did for the other buttons. And then just a little bit of box shadow on the button itself, make it stand out. Now all that's left is to put our border and box shadow on. So let's do that. Let's go down. Border. One pixel. There it is. It's put in a black one. I want to make it orange. Now I just need to put in the box shadow. There it is. Save our changes. Save our page changes. Little purple button down there. Hit the save button on the right hand side. Once it's saved, let's exit the Visual Builder and see what we've got. Go down to where we were working. So what I didn't do, I didn't put any animation on these. We'll put a bit of animation on those. Let's do that. Let's re-enable the Visual Builder quickly. Go down to where we want to work. Here we go, simply click on the module, go to the design tab, go to the design tab, and right down the bottom, you'll see animation. I've been using fade, so I'm going to continue to use fade. I think I want that to fade in from the left to the right, so we'll say right. 
actually left there we go fantastic save that this one same thing gonna go to the cog to the design tab right down the bottom animation slide I think I'll have this one coming up from the bottom so we'll say up I'm going to delay it by about 250 milliseconds quarter of a second well, let's round it up to 300 how's that so it'll delay so it'll be slightly behind this one so let's save that save our page changes again exit the visual builder and see what we've got there we go they're animating in that time and you've got a nice little countdown section to your sale or whatever you're counting down to with a nice little call to action button that can take your visitors wherever it is you want them to go really easy with the Divi theme like I say if you want to take it for a desk drive you can do so from my affiliate link below the video I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.